I know it's been a while since I've posted anything. This is segment 19, and it'll be brief. I've just been doing some traveling, and I've uh, had some slowdowns on the ship. One thing that is not detailed very well in the instructions is the anchors, and I didn't have the right parts. I did not have these uh, catches. I'll call them catches. I don't know what they really are, but they're like an anvil part of the anchor that catches. So I had to make those myself. Also, these anchors were, they would be flat. They wouldn't sit like this. This would have been twisted. So I had to actually add another section in here. Uh, some of the other details that I did was I wrapped some copper around the wooden portion and then put in some brass nails on both sides just for effect. So I'm happy with that. I've also added on this closed inside of the ship. Remember there was an opening here that I thought looked like it'd be a ramp, so I did make a little ramp. It probably isn't to scale correctly, but it just didn't look right having an opening. The hinge I picked up at a store in a dollhouse uh, parts area, so it's real tiny. Then I've uh, completed the rail that guards the open stair well going to the lower decks. I had a few of the posts from the upper, the stair rails and the upper guard rail. I had a few of those extras so I was able to use those and then I just used some dowel rod. I was tempted to use just a rectangular like a piece of a plank but I decided to go with the round. So here is an anchor kind of tied in place and I found a site if you google rattlesnake model ship building plans I found some helpful information that you could download that shows some of the parts from a different ship but it showed like how to make this loop it shows that there's actually a line that goes up and ties off in there that kind of holds the anchor in place so some of those details I think it's going to help me with the masts also so look that up that's Rattlesnake Model Ship Building Plans. You can see I've finished these supports. And I had inadvertently put these pieces in the wrong container. So they are on the lowercase d sheet. And the remaining ones that you need are 4 and 5. And that, and that corresponding small piece that covers it. So I'll get those on the ship, show them to you once I get them installed. And that should take care of those outside supports for uh, the rigging lines. They come all the way back. So there'll be lines that'll go, you know, through these to another connector and then go up to the masts. But I'm a ways away from that. I just wanted to give a shout out so that everyone that is following this build knows that yes, I'm still here. And this is probably going to take a full year before it's really completed. My next steps, I think I need to try and maybe get the cannons in place. And again, I should have done that before I put on this top deck because I'm just going to have to slide them in place. I'm not going to be able to do some of the rope work that ties them off to the side. I will be able to do it up on the top level though. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll get those in place. Then hopefully, and not the too distant future, I can start working on the masts and figure out how tall they should be because there's nothing in the instructions. I found some things that may work, I'll test it out and then I'll document it when I get to that point. Sorry this is so short and just a, a brief update on the progress of the Black Pearl. Thanks for watching.